stuff as always. Audrey, thank you very much. All right, let's talk about the weather that's about to change for the better. We've been in a pattern, Michelle, for a long time where the work week was pretty good and then the weekend things turn south and this weekend we're doing the opposite, aren't we? That's right. We're going to have a repeat of last weekend, actually, where we have a really nice stretch of dry weather, good sunshine and even low humidity. Hard to believe right now as we are steaming out there. Storms are brewing, though, for Moxville, Lexington, Ashboro. You're kind of in this line of fire for where the most action is right now. Heavier showers and thunderstorms are expected in these zones. Isolated severe possible. We are noticing a lot of intensification with the storm down over Salisbury at this hour along Interstate 85. So it is a messy storm. It's going to drop in a lot of rain. We've seen half inch to one inch totals from some of those thunderstorms today, especially the northern storms. And this is ahead of a cold front. So what we're watching for right now as we zoom into a closer look at the storm, you can see it's growing. At least the highest reflectivity that we're seeing in this is at, at least 40,000 feet. You might see some higher cloud tops out there still this means it's packing a pretty good punch. There's a potential that this one could bring in some damaging wind if it becomes severe and even not it could take down some tree limbs with gusts 30 to 40 miles an hour. So we'll watch for a possibility of this one doing some interesting uh, action here in the next a little bit through seven and eight o'clock. We start to see a little drop off in those thunderstorms and if they do start to blow up again, it'll be south and east of the viewing area. It looks like Ashboro and areas of Winston Salem and Greensbury might get a little trailing shower just ahead of that front, but then we're going to clear out. We'll see that front later tonight around midnight having a bigger impact, getting rid of those showers and drying us out down into the upper 50s in the foothills and mountains. And we've got those mid 60s tomorrow morning for folks in the triad with clear skies. So storm threats tonight. We've got that heavy downpours, the rain, frequent lightning, damaging winds. Those are the main threats right now that we're anticipating if we do see any of these storms become severe. And a lot of sunshine earlier in the day, so we've got some destabilization here, and this is where we have some of the best help aloft, and that's what we're looking at right now. 80 degrees in Bethany. We have 69 on in Marion is 70 degrees in white top. Eventually you'll cool off and you're going to feel more refreshing by tomorrow morning. Highs today hit 87 degrees. We still have not been able to break 87. We have not hit 89, 88 yet. It has been the trend as we've seen, you know, last summer in June, I believe we were in the 90s at some point. So 86 degrees in Burlington, 88 in Ashboro area for highs today. 66 in the Piedmont Triad putting you right back to where we should be this time of the year tomorrow. So down a few degrees to 83, it's going to feel more comfortable. And that wind is a nice breeze. It's a pleasant one with the low humidity. 63 in the foothills, your dew points are dropping too, so you'll feel comfortable as well with 82 degrees. The dry air in place all the way through the mountains with 58 degrees. A really nice day there. Lots of good sunshine and feeling comfortable at 73. What a great camping weekend. That just makes me excited to think about heading to the mountains. All right, you've got the dry air here. You've got all of that filling in mid and upper levels. The surface moisture is still with us, and so that's why you still feel a little bit uncomfortable, especially where those storms are forming now. We've got the drier dew points as we talked about, upper 50s to upper 60s then again by middle of next week. So you see the pattern change does develop again. When we usher in a new air mass, we'll be watching the track of that high pressure system. And as it moves in over the coast and brings more of a southwesterly flow, that's when we start to see that positioning bring in more moisture. That begins to happen a little bit on Sunday, but notice our temperatures are still warmer. We get you back into the mid and upper 80s. We have for the most part a dry day. There's a slight chance we could see a passing shower late night Sunday into Monday and then most of next week is a little uncertain at this point. We've got a couple of fronts that are going to swing in. It all is dependent by middle of next week as to whether we can get a low riding far enough south to trigger enough storm action here. And for now we've got you partly to mostly sunny and it is looking hot. That is one thing that I think all of us will experience upper 80s, possibly hitting into the 90s by next Saturday. We'll be watching for that trend and most to the southeast will be impacted by that. Here's that seven day forecast. You see that we've got beautiful weather for Friday and Saturday, low 80s to a slight chance of a passing shower on your Sunday night. And then Monday, mostly sunny skies.